Do you know what it takes to become a master at something? Knowledge. And practice, obviously. You have heard it a million times. Go ahead and practice projects, build projects, do this, do that, do everything. So now you wake up one day all energized and feeling good. Let's do it. You spin up an editor. You write your first Hello World. It's all great. But what's the next step? Which project do you choose actually? Which project or which course do you work on? Do you watch another playlist of videos because you're not confident? Do you just, you know, just randomly start a project? What should be the goal? So I like to break this concept into two things. The first one we already know. Knowledge. This comes from videos, playlists, blog posts, everything you can think of with, where you actually consume the content. And the second one is actually hands-on practice. I'm going to act very smart and take example of React in this video because that is essentially what I'm going to show you, something related to that. So that will make my life a lot easier. Think of this way. You're trying to learn React. The first thing you do, which also I recommend, is go ahead and watch a bunch of videos just to get a hang of what React exactly is. You know, just see somebody else, some creator, some content creator, just walk you through the basics of things. But now you are in the wild. Once you have completed that playlist, that small mini course, spoiler alert, we do have a course on Codedam. You have just seen how the things are working, right? Now it's time to get into the practice mode. And how do you do that? Well, Codedam got your back. You guys are so lucky because on Codedam, we are doing exactly that. I'm personally creating custom React classrooms for projects, which will allow you to do hands-on practice, just like how you would do in real world. Very close to that. You gotta write your own code. You gotta manage your own stuff. You gotta complete certain constraints, certain challenges. And the best part is that you just have to focus on the learning aspects of things. You have to write things with your own hands, which would eventually build up your muscle memory and you do not have any chance of just sitting back and eating popcorn while the tasks get done. You have to work your ass off. You have to actually code stuff, which is super important. And it is super interesting that, uh, you know, I was able to come up with an interface which allows you to do exactly that. That was my goal for a very long time. And to be honest, I'm very happy and proud to say that now we are very decent. We are at a very decent stage where I can help you achieve your goal with my goal. All right, so this quick demonstration is for people who have no idea how to use internet. Here we go. First of all, go to godam.com. Once you're here, go to obviously I'm logged in, but you're gonna have to log in. So go to sign in, go with Google. You know, that's what I recommend at least. Choose your email ID, that's it. Just create an account, it's just a formality. Once you do that, you're gonna be back to the dashboard. Go ahead and go to practice projects. And there we have a nice shiny create a birthday reminder with React. This is just a single project out of many which are coming in the pipeline. And obviously the next step is to enroll into the project. This is just an instruction. You can ignore this if you are at the next developer. I am, so I'm just gonna ignore this one right away. Right, and now you have a very simple, very nice and deep and decent interface for building your project. Obviously this is split up into multiple labs. I have done all the labs because I'm a 10x developer, but you might have to do it yourself, like, you know, just progressing through every single one of them. So the first lab is basically very simple. You just have to click read the instructions and click on the run test. Once you do, you have to go to the next lab and the cycle repeats. Here you have to again follow some instructions, you know, do the regular stuff. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically how I'm gonna build this project. I'm super excited to see how you guys finish this project. Let me know if you find any bugs as such, but most importantly, go ahead and complete this thing. Because once you do complete this thing, this also comes with a classroom certification. And I know that a lot of people really are interested into getting certificates of all sorts because, well, obviously it boosts your confidence. But nonetheless, it establishes that you have done something. You have completed something. Yo, so that's all for this project. 
and you can find all the links in the description. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the code interface. If you want me to create more projects for you, which in turn will help you to become a better developer. All that information in the comments below. I will be replying to every one of them. Let me know what you think. That is all for this video. See you in the next one.